this is a uh, just just a way to try to keep their legs cold and tight, keep all the inflammation out, uh, try to head off problems before they come. It helps their feet. Um, as opposed to ice boots, you know, you get all four legs from the hocks and knees down to their feet, as opposed to just the front knees and ankles and shins. Uh, and it's much colder than ice boots or even standing in a, 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 a ice tub. Um, so from that perspective, it really, really helps. Um, you know, it, it was a significant investment. We had to mortgage my house to be able to do it all, and my wife was uh, against it at the time, but, but she's on board now and sees the benefit of it, and uh, it's been really good for the horses. The grass part of it is kind of the side benefit. Um, you know, we feed these horses, uh, for the most part, just dry seeds. I mean, feed is, you know, beet pulp, oats, barley. Um, if you can take those same seeds, meaning the barley mainly and sunflower seeds, and sprout them, well now instead of feeding them a, a dead seed, you've got a live enzyme feed, an actual live organic growing horse feed uh, is kind of the thought process behind that. Um, the seed uses its own starch to germinate, and so now I'm feeding a high protein feed with low starch, and so I don't have the, the muscle problems then. Uh, and as well as in the, the grass component of the fodder trays uh, has the natural vitamin K, which research now is showing is, is, is the most important mechanism in stopping a horse from bleeding. Uh, you know, so I really don't have problems with bleeders like a lot of people do. I think a lot of that is because of the grass. You know, if you could turn every horse out and let them eat grass for three hours every afternoon, you would do that. Uh, but at the racetrack, that's not really possible. And so this is just trying to do what's best for the horses and keep them happy and healthy and sound as much as we can. Uh, I, I work with a chiropractor, Dr. Jimmy Antunis, uh, that, that is maybe one of the best horsemen I've ever known. And he, he's taught me a lot about range of motion, flexibility, suppleness, uh, that being kind of the key factor in keeping a horse at the top of his game. Uh, so not just for VIP, but for all the horses, you know, we, we, we try to keep their major muscle groups soft and supple, uh, range of motion, flexibility. What you'll find after you kind of study that and do that for a while, good horses are soft and supple and flexible, just like good athletes.